getting started with the GitHub REST API. Have a read through this web page here. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do, uh, a lot of these things that you're gonna do with the, with the REST API require a personal access token. And they give you some information here and some links you can click here to read about it, but I'll just show you. To create a personal access token, you come to your profile on GitHub, come down here to settings. Uh, over here, you'll see a button that says developer settings. And then here you see personal as access tokens. You're gonna wanna generate a new one. You'll click the button that says generate a new token. Give it a name, give it a note. And you'll see that the token can do many different things. Uh, different to You can create tokens to do different sorts of things. If you don't know what all this means, feel free to just go ahead and check everything since you're just learning now. But I know that for this example, all we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, do a couple things with a repository. I, I, I've read through this thing here. I know what we're gonna do is um, just checking here repo. This will be enough for us. In fact, we don't even need all of these, but I'm just gonna check repo for now. But feel free to check everything if you want. You click that and then you're gonna click generate token. And when you click generate token, it's gonna show you a token on the screen. Now this token is sensitive. You have to treat the token as a password. And as such, I'm not gonna show you my token. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna hide this for just a moment. I'm gonna click the green button, generate token, create a token. You do the same. Don't share your token with anyone and I'm not gonna share my token with you either. This is like a password. You have to treat it just like a password. Anyone who gets this token can hack your GitHub account. Okay, so now I have a token and you do too. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is, uh, we're, we're gonna to wanna to use the token. What I'm gonna show you now is, is um, how to create a repository uh, using the REST uh, API. You see here, uh, you have to put your token. Your token ought to look something like this. You're gonna to wanna to put yours in there. So let's do it. Let's come on over to our computer. Just a moment. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to my machine here. And uh, now I don't want to show my token to anyone. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go to my home directory. I'm going to go to my home directory. And in there, I'm going to edit a file called .bashrc. We go to the bottom of this file. I'm going to add a line. And I'm going to put token equals without spaces. And then here... You're going to want to put your token, whatever it is, paste it in there. Paste your token here. I'm going to pause the video again, and I'm going to paste my token there. Now, when you've done that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to run source home slash dot bash RC. And this is going to load those var that variable that you just created. So now if you were to do this, you should see your token come out on the screen. I'm not going to show you my token, but I can show you a fake token I put in there. All right. Well, when you run this command, you should see your token come out on the screen. If you pasted it right, if you set up the file correctly, you'll see your token on the screen. Okay, so at this point, uh, we're all set. And now we don't have to go pasting our token in here um, when we're running the command. And so I will just run this command now uh, from, from the documentation. Let me see, I'm going back and forth between the windows. It's curl.ih, um, then authorization, token. And now you don't need to type your whole token out there. You can just use the token variable you created, token. And then you're going to put uh, we'll create a new line. We'll put that backslash there. And then I'll put dash D. And then in single quotes. This is going to be JSON. On this line, don't put this thing here. You're not going to want to put that. Don't put that. Uh, <clears throat> even though it shows it there in the documentation. Let me show you here again. Uh, one moment. Here you'll see they're showing these 
backslashes inside the data, inside the single quote data here for curl. Uh, you're not going to put them there, but you are going to want to put it here and you are going to want to put it there. But inside this single quote JSON string, you're not going to want to put these here. And you'll see I'm not going to do it when I run this command. And in case it wasn't clear, what we're doing now is we're creating a repository using a curl command. So up until this point, uh, to create a repository, you probably would click this button here, this plus, and then you would click new repository, and then you would type some stuff here and check some different things, and then you'll click create repository. But I'm going to show you uh, that you can do that without accessing the browser. You can create the repository um, by using the, the REST API. Okay, so let's get back to it. Name, auto init, and private. Put a comma. Uh, private. This will not be private. Um, auto init. I'm going to put true. And uh, git ignore template, we'll use this nano, Let's see, there, and then the URL is https api.github.com API slash user slash repos. Oh, I've made a mistake here. Let me cancel that. I hit control C. I need to put a single quote here to close that. So I open the curly brace there with a the single quote, and I need to close it here with a single quote. Uh, okay, on this computer, curl command not found, so I need to install curl. That'll just take a moment. Okay, curl is installed, and then I can run that command. And it's given me some a JSON response. We could read through it and see what all the response said. But instead of reading that right now, we can just come back to the browser. We'll have a look at my repositories. And here it is, getting started with the REST API, updated 12 seconds ago. This is the repository we just created. So awesome. That's how we get started with the REST API. Now I'll show you another thing you can do. You'll notice now that this repository that we just created using the REST API, it has no issues open on it. There are currently no issues open on this thing. Well, if we come back to this document here and we scroll down a little bit, you'll see they give us a way to create an issue. So we might as well test this command out as well. This one we're going to say curl dash i dash h um, authorization it's token token again you'll notice that there in the website they used a single quote i'll show you again in here they've used a single quote i'm using a double quote uh, the using single quotes versus double quotes that has to do with bash, but we're not going to talk about bash too much right now. Uh, you can just follow along and uh, the discussion of bash will be another time. So this needs title, body, and labels. I'm not going to put any labels. We'll just put a title and a body for the issue. Title and body for this issue is what we're going to have. Okay. So that okay, put a comma and then we'll put the body of the issue is there is no code in this repository and then we will 
close the curly brace, put a single quote this time. I'm going to put this backslash for a new line. And then I got to put the URL for the uh, repository. We're going to put uh, HTTPS colon um, api.github. dot com slash repos slash wants the username the username I'm using is Julian Aureliano slash the repository name and the repository I have is getting started with REST API and then slash issues of course here you're going to put your username there not mine, and then you're going to put the name of the repository you created, and don't put the name of my repository. There, now we've got another interesting uh, JSON response, but we don't need to look at that. We can just come here to the web page, um, refresh the page, and indeed, there's an issue. You see the title is there is no code, and the body is there's no code in the repository, and we did this. Uh, we didn't create the issue as you might have done in the past. You could click new issue here and put a title and a body if you wanted to, but you've just seen a different way to do it using a REST API using this command here.